So it means it means Edward consents. Anyways, that's right, a limited Kinto. edition, man. We're still looking for a hero Aurora for Gaming Haji. There it is. Lockless Aurora. They can pick up the Beatrix later on. Uh, if it's not the Beatrix, maybe even the Lunox. Oh, wait. Nope. They already have good sources of magic damage. I like the Beatrix. I like the Matrix is, later. I actually like the Matrix better. Yeah. Uh, although, if you do pick the Lunox, we've seen teams do this, wherein it's just the Ling or yeah. the Nolan that have the burst physical, mm -hmm. and they don't mind because the Lunox would be good against both the Khalid and the Haya. Yeah. So, Domeng, if he goes Claude, I would really like to see a Matrix uh, for Oheb later on. Uh, with the Moskov gone, if they want to play the map, High Invade Roamer, Tigreal gone, Grok still an option. There it is, they stole away the Beatrix! <laughs> Baldoming sticking it to the Filipino Sniper, and there's the Grok! Great moves, uh, you get one of the best possible options that you could get for, for Renegade, and you steal away what could have been a fantastic option to round up the lineup of Blacklist International with the Beatrix. Although, a great draft by Aurora so far. Does this not mean you actually just Lunox now? I... Uh, the thing is that makes you a little bit too team fight heavy. And you lose the lane. Yeah. If ever that's the case, then that's going to be the Ling split pushing. <laughs> Ruby Gold. It's a 1-3-1. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to be funneling their basic attacks into the Ling. They have good source of basic attack damage. Uh, the Ruby Gold soft counters are, for most cases, might actually be able to hard counter the Khalid, right? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. I'd say if they do go for an early swap, which Oheb is very used to yeah. playing in his uh, championship season in season seven. Should be fine. Okay. As we look at the lineup ratings though. Yeah, the, the, the numbers say the counter does indeed play a role. Yeah, the damage potential for Aurora is through the roof. Crowd control though, a little bit more for Blacklist International along with the late game potential. Ooh, mid game, big mid game power spike is where I'm looking at. Let's throw over the desk. Ingan and Naisu calling the action. Aurora match point. Match point for Aurora and a chance to secure or make their chances higher at securing the second Welcome seed for Mobile this Legends. season. Welcome to the English Desk. My name is Ingan. Together with me is Daddy Naisu. Yes, sir. And Naisu, doming though, stealing away OM's signature pick, the Filipino Snipers Beatrix. What can you say about that? Well, it's a statement. I'll, you know, we're going to see if he's able to pull it off, of course. But at the same time, there's been this, once again, uh, rise of a ruby gold working for some teams. I love that we've had some flexibility and dynamics now in the gold lane and even down to the XP lane to an extent to where things have shaken up and developed over this season alone for the regular season. Now, looking at both the lineups here, you know, this is almost very... Standard, I would say, when you look at Rora's lineup, you know, Doming on that Beatrix, always going to have a gun for a certain situation. But then even Renegade still doing what he was able to do for the majority of game one. Whoa. On the Grok here, a lot of early poking happening too with Yue. Okay, you Whoa. can expect an early game poke coming in from Aurora as Haji has to walk away there. And again, although this is the case right now in terms of the mid, uh, uh, the mid lane, High folks for Aurora. I do like that Lord JM has the CC yeah, right now as MPDK works on Ren and Jay. Is oh, he gonna oh, go for this? Oh. Okay, he gets the flicker. Oh, oh he's oh. gonna jump in! Goes in, Temples of Blades still available. Goes, picks up he everything he can, but Edward there to punish him, and now in the mid lane still, Perks in trouble. Good thing Demon Kai Quad Shadow's on out. Haji was there to help. Man, what a- Oh, oh Haji! Haji! He goes in with the flicker! Picks up the kills, not gonna let Demon Kai get away. When you thought that the clash is over, <laughs> someone just randomly flickers in. A while ago, it was Renna J backing off against uh, MP the King, but MP the King goes in with the Defiant Sword plus Tempest of Blades and a good pick off there for Aurora. But look at Dominic. Okay, this is what they were saying in terms, in terms of the laning stage. Dominic <laughs> can easily poke Oheb, especially it's during long range four. matches. Almost level four. Let's see if he's gonna get that sniper in, bring down Oheb, but okay. Blacklist right now, in terms of lead, they, they have a slight advantage as they are controlling the turtle pit. They're gonna rotate down, they gotta work on the objective. Edward there. Haji also making his way for this fight. Renege almost level four, so he'll have the wild charge in just a second. So you're gonna hold the turtle for now. That's a good way to hold the turtle. 
Quick sand guard, just holding turtle right now as Burke's trying to zone out four members. Here comes the clash. It is once again Edward on the back side, Raging Sandstorm right on Haji, fighting for it. Frigid Glacier there, and the follow-up coming on through. MP will be able to pick up a kill, but it's already a double kill for Blacklist International's MP, the King, and the Turtle for the taking as they demolish Rara in that fight. Wow, Shades of MSC, MP the King with odds against his back, performing at his very best when pressure arises. And of course, the recoded Haji this time rocking the the Aurora yeah. against Aurora, connecting the Frigid Glacier <laughs> onto a Demon Kite. Another huge catch. It's a tongue twister, isn't it? Yeah, using the Aurora against Aurora. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that might be the answer maybe, bro, because right now, Blacklist International is really setting the pace in this you know, early portion of the game, and that's exactly what they have to do if they want to the, get to a game three here. And you know, it's not even often that you see a CC pop up anymore. Like yeah. she's she's kind of just one of those niche picks at this point. Yeah, honestly, it's I think it's only Lord JM who has been using the CC, but in times where Lord JM has used the CC, he has a higher win rate, and at the same time, I feel like it's more of his personality, not just our, uh, being reliant on the setup, but more of the zoning and uh, bursting down the tank here. Here's but Whoa. oh, Ooh. with the flex you from Oheb. Okay, Domang just got deleted, man. Okay, uh, I know in the comments section a lot are wondering why Blacklist is using the TLBH recalls. It's because they don't have their own, and even if they have their own, I think they're gonna still pick this. Because look at the TPs from TLBH, man, flexing, and that's what Haji did again—a 2-0-2 KDA. And if you're gonna go back to Haji's journey, uh, even just for season 14, yeah, he's been switching yeah, roles. Switch roles. Yeah, he started as a, a roam, right? Yep. A roam, then uh, he went back to the mid lane, then went back to the roam, and this time rocking the mid lane, performing well with the Aurora, 2 0 2, a lot of catches with the Frigid Glacier. And the best part is, Yue, one of his signature picks, the Valentina, isn't here. So they don't have the luxury of getting a Frigid Glacier of their own compared to game number one. Yeah, I think part of that too is just. You know, so far, this this whole momentum coming out from Blackness International has been a really decisiveness. I mean, even MP the King, early on in the game, when he went under the turret, you know, as level four, that got him to this point. Now he's going to go again. Tempest Blade's going to be used. Gets knocked into the wall, though. And unfortunate, as I was just talking about the aggression, he ends up getting punished up top. In that case, patience beats aggression. And with the patience of the two members of Aurora there, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike onto MP the King, baiting him out, that's when they were able to strike back and bring down once again MP the King. So right now, Aurora's doing a good job in terms of macro, but here's the job Lord JM is known for. Just zoning out Ren and Jay, eventually gonna zone out Edward, making sure that Blacklist has a good position to get another turtle as four members are approaching here in the turtle pit, working onto Ren and Jay. Just look at the damage coming from Perks and Lord JM. Yeah, that's... Uh that's a damaging yo-yo right there, man, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> because right now, like, Renegade, even as tanky as he is, he's got to go heal back up. No one getting the turtle just yet. Oh. MP going aggressive again for Domeng. Takes a couple shots. Tempest Blade's going to be used. Domeng tries Ooh. to get the kill before he goes down. But MP the King will pick up one himself. Okay, this time, MP, King, MP the King knows he's alone. That was a good tactical reposition. Then cast of the, uh, the ultimate. But again, fast hands coming in from MP the King. Good cast of Tempest of Blades as well as Yua checks the brush there. Here comes Edward! Oh, there it is again. The setup with the wild charge coming in. The fight for the turtle. A huge frigid glacier. Gonna follow up. Perks will go in. Get the taunt as well. Edward's gonna heal back up. Still fighting for it. Demon will get Demon Kai gets the turtle. Now Perks taking a couple too many shots as Yue gets a double. Good exchange again. Both sides here finding something, and now the turret. Up top will go down. Okay, a trade for Blacklist. They wanted to go for the turret instead and a kill onto Ohe, but in that case, even though Haji was able to cast that frigid glacier, it did connect onto three. Yeah, got three. The problem was the numbers game once again. And Edward doing a huge job being the frontliner, soaking up the damage, and the moment he's about to get bursted down, quick sand guard, more than enough to heal him up and re-engage once again. That's why Aurora this time was able to bounce back. But again, because of the trade that Blacklist did, they still have a slight advantage in terms of the economy. 1.3k gold lead, but the problem remains for Blacklist. They don't have a natural gold laner, a natural marksman. So when it comes to the late game, if ever Aurora manages to extend it, 
it's going to be a huge problem for the agents. And you know, Egon, I think this is part of the thing. It's just like, even if we don't have a traditional marksman, you know, to shoot from afar, if Oheb just somehow puts pressure enough to get Domang to flicker even, or, you know, grabs him with the I'm offended, they have enough push through, whether that's MP the King, whether that's Perks jumping in, hell, the freeze from Haji is enough to take care of Domain. Yeah. So then you just even the playing field, right? Like, your, your, your ranged hitter is pretty much gone out of the picture. But right now, they're just gonna trade objectives cross map. Okay, Domain still manages to get one down bottom as Blacklist leaves the inhibitor turret up top alone. So this is a good, this is a good start, a really good start for Blacklist. And in terms of early game, you'd expect this kind of performance from Blacklist. Yeah. Again, they have the Ruby Gold lane that can easily dominate the early laning stages. And at the same time, their poke, uh, poking capabilities are there. MP the King rocking the lane once again. High mobility in terms of rotation. And of course, again, the Lord JM hero, the CC, who has been banned during game number one, now is performing better being able to do his job more, not reliant on those uh, crowd control skills that you need him to do, but here comes Blacklist, might be able to burst down the Lord. They're gonna give it a go. There's the pull on UA. UA's out of the picture already, and now Rena J has to flicker out Lord JM. Hold the front side, Edward on this side angle. He wants to commit to it any further. This should just be a Lord now for Blacklist International after only finding UA off that pull from Oheb. Okay, that was a huge, huge move coming in from Oheb, bringing down one of his former teammates, Yue, with a crucial kill, let, get, getting them the first Lord. And instead, Demon Kite goes in for his purple buff instead for the trade. But this time, Blacklist wants to extend the lead that they've established, trying to go for the mid lane turret as Oheb goes in with the I'm Offended play. Not gonna catch anyone though. Yep. And in terms of clear rate potential, Aurora is safe. Again, just two ultimates coming in from Domain can clear out this level one Lord even by himself. So Aurora, the, the problem is right now, will you let Blacklist set up and eventually get at least one inhibitor through it? Or will you be able to play it safe, burst down the Lord without suffering any casualties and without burning any of your inhibitors? And looking at the items, in terms of gold lead, we have a match, uh, we, we have an almost equal <laughs> economy between Oheb and Doming. Yeah, it, there's, it's, it's been pretty much, you know, close in terms of the gold lane, but you know, you asked the question earlier, especially with the Ruby Gold Lane, and so far it's been paying dividends for this lineup for Blacklist International. These Holy Shields are gonna be popped. Lord makes its way top side. And now they can force a fight. Oheb does have the flicker. There's the Raging Sandstorm. We're gonna right go for Oheb. Perks tries to help him out. They're gonna fight back. Lord finally going down the Frigid Glacier as well. Meanwhile, action down in the bot between the two junglers. We'll keep it together, but Rora will lose Edward in the exchange, but they hold on to the base turrets. Okay, that was a worth it trade for Aurora. Again, instead of sacrificing inhibitor Indeed. turret up top, and they give an advantage in terms of macro for Blacklist, Edward's just gonna sacrifice. Oh, the J goes in, finds three on the mark, but there's no follow-up for him. Demon Kite goes in, pokes. Lord JM jumps into the base as well with a vengeance. But even with a setup like that from the Hitman, there's no follow-through. That was a good wild charge play from Rene J connecting onto all the agents. It was a, a huge follow-up from Yue with the Deathly Grasp. But the problem was, Doming's ultimate wasn't ready to be casted. Imagine yeah. if the bazookas or the machine guns connected. They could have easily taken out one or at least two. But in that case, unfortunately, Blacklist was lucky that that happened. And it's not just luck for Blacklist. Again, they've been playing well, even down to the trades. They're trading very well. If we if we can recall back to the first minute, MP the King going in, yeah. forcing Renegade to flicker it. Although it wasn't worth it during that time, with Haji's flicker in to bring down, I believe it was Demon Kite or maybe Yue, that made it worth it for Blacklist. And now looking at the items, we can see an immense gold lead between the two junglers. Almost 3k, or I believe more than 3k for MP the King compared to Demon Kite. Quick maths, that's a whole lot of a lead. I hate numbers. For MP the King, really I know. Numbers. Same. You know, <laughs> what we can say is it's 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 a lead right now for MP the King, based off what he's been doing, putting the work throughout the game at this point, and now Lord being up here, they got a nice, good lead, seven thousand gold up to this point. But you can see just how confident Rora is, even down at this. They might still want to try to contest this. Might want to try to get a pick off. I'm not sure if they can actually convert this Lord though, but we'll see if they have enough to pull things through. Right now, Lord's going to be held. Why Blacklist? Okay. It's gonna be a battle of trades. Blacklist has the advantage to get this Lord right away, but look at Renegade's position. Will they go instead for a pickoff? 
We'll never know what the plan of Aurora is, but one thing for sure is they're gonna, they're, they're brewing something up. They're cooking something up with the current formation that they have oh. as Blacklist will burst down the Lord. For the health here. Retribution, are we gonna be used too? They jump in, they force the fight. Oh. Oheb will be able to get the Lord and they break it out. Yeah. But two are already down for Aurora. Perks jumping in, won't be able to find anybody from that. And also Domeng gets back to base. And Blacklist now facing this base rush here. It's only three members of Aurora. One third of the MV3 secures the Lord for the side of Blacklist as they extend the lead to 9K. Lord JM pushing up top, but Oheb with the pull coming in from Ooh. Doming, and Doming has to flicker out as Lord JM gets the inhibitor turret. Now, Aurora, how will you be able to oh. extend this? Because Demon Kai goes in. He got the passive, so he's able to at least get rid of that, but they got to get prepped and ready for this Lord March up top, because right now they hold on to the two base turrets. There's still waves pushing in here, and Blacklist, even with a lead that they have, they're still taking the calculated decisions. Okay, orange buff will be taken away here by Blacklist. Lord marching up top. They still have five members, though. They can go for the engage for Blacklist. In terms of kits, all their ultimates are available as well as their battle spells. Perks has his revitalize, but they're going to play it safe. They're going to play it calculated. You mentioned this. All their aggressions are calculated. We're going to have to wait for who's going to initiate first. Will it be Oheb? Because Oheb. Knows he wants to go in with the I'm offended there it play, is. but Edward! Sandstorm with a wild charge, gonna be able to find Oheb, and now breaking out into the jungle. They have to disengage, MP. but here comes MP the King. Tempest of Blaze gonna be used to stop the Sand Garden as he picks up Edward. The one Demon. for one, but Demon Kite jumps in with a shadow kill, looking Ooh. for Lord JM. Won't be able to find him, and Domeng loads up the sniper shot, won't be able to find Lord JM either. Oh no, Aurora really won that clash. Edward for Oheb, shutting him down, finally handing the Filipino sniper his very first death. That was a good cast of the Raging Sandstorm. And MP the King, quick, MP the King, quick heads up play to bring down Edward as well. They were able to save their two inhibitor turrets, and now we are approaching the possible power spike of Aurora. They have Doming onto this Beatrix, a marksman compared to a Ruby, can dominate the late game. And Blacklist, they know this. They're pressured to end this game right away. Look at the damage dealt. You were with the Vaxana leads all. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Look at the damage already. There's the jump in from Perks. They're gonna try to cut them off. Edward could be in trouble. He's low. Tempest of Blade's gonna be used. Demon Kite jumps back in the back side. He will be able to find Lord JM mm -hmm. for a little bit longer, but now Demon Kite's in trouble. Couldn't pick up the kill. As he finally goes down, Demon Kite and Edward gone. It's up to these three from Rora to defend against a full push from Blacklist. Oh, they're not going to wait for the Lord anymore. They have minions. Oweb still has a potential setup here as he's trying to zone out Renner J. Here comes the inhibitor turret, going to go down. One more inhibitor turret into the middle lane. Renner J enters the frame, though. What are they going to do? Still holding on. It's only one minion left. Renner J taking a ton of shots. Ooh, Oheb trying to get away. Once again, MP Gun jumps in. Domang! Won't be able to find Domang as Domang gets a double. And they're trying to turn this one around with every piece of ammo they have from Domang to UA to Demon Kite and Edward. What is with this Retribution Rumble week? I mean, yesterday we saw Omega finish the streak with three amazing defenses in one game. Aurora might oh. also pull it off. Hertz jumps in and gets the taunt and just disengages Demon defensively. Kite. Demon Kite looking to find something, won't be able to grab it further. Lord is still up, Yue still on the hunt for Haji. Domang loading up the shot as mm -hmm. Yue will pick up the kill. And now the Lord, even with two down now, MP the King back up. You're down, Haji, if you're Blacklist International. How are you going to approach this fight, this dance-off, this shuffle with Rora? A poetic way for Yue to end uh, his I'm former Menti Haji as Aurora tries to burst down the Lord. MP the King is here, though. It's going to be a retribution battle between the two junglers. They're going to jump in. Demon Kai will be able to find Oheb. Trying to zone them off, but MP will be able to find Demon Kai in exchange. Tempest of Blades already oh, used, but Edward oh, oh, will be able to get the Lord. And now Blacklist trying to run down the rest of Aurora, but they don't have enough in the tank to follow through. Edward just bought some time. Edward, Legend Zero. 
He said yesterday, thank me later. <laughs> but right now he's saying to the whole fans of Aurora, thank me now, because without Demon Kite, they were able to get that Lord with a huge, amazing play from Edward. Wow, at, at some point in the game, it was a 9K gold lead for Blacklist. <laughs> Two enemies with their turrets were taken down, and with a tornado, uh, tornado first kill coming in from the Skalid, he was able to take that Lord away from his former team. That was nothing fancy, but man, did it bring some value to Aurora. And you know what's crazy on, on top of all this, man, is the fact that just minutes ago, Blacklist was up nearly 9,000 gold. Now, Aurora, based off these small wins here and there, medium wins, big wins, and everything in between, they get themselves Bye -bye. a momentum oh, Edward. shift. Edward, enough of a threat. They hold on to that mid turret of their base. That's all they have. What are they looking to take here from Blacklist? Oh, Blacklist right now losing, almost losing their gold lead from 9K to 1.6. They haven't bursted down the lorry. They have inhibitors, but Renegade, Oh! oh! Goes in! There's Ooh. the Sandstorm to follow through! They'll be able to find Oheb! And now still going for the fight. Renegade already taken out of the picture. UA firing off. They have the Lord with them. Edward goes down. And Blacklist will be able to defend the two-for-one trade. They only lost Oheb. They lost Oheb. They lost one turret down bottom. They have all their inhibitor turrets intact. Huge defense for Blacklist despite the amazing attempt from Renege and Edward, that was a wild charge raging sandstorm combination. What a combo. What a combo, but again, it's a wild Haji sandstorm. with a crucial frigid glitch. It was a wild storm, I like that. Uh, yeah, or, or a raging charge. <laughs> I think it's a raging charge. Either or, it was a great combination. But better defense though. That's true. Haji. From blacklist. Haji coming in, like yeah. you mentioned with the frigid glacier, man. And that's, again, that's why you pick up the Aurora. Yeah. It's able to stop those force initiations from the lineup that Aurora has here, and that's how you know they kept it together, even despite all that. So this brings us back to this place where you're, you know, you're 30 seconds away from the objective, the Lord being up here. Blacklist still with this minor shift in their favor, but Aurora has showed time and time again that they can actually still take it to the fight. You know, and that's something that maybe Blacklist can play around. The fact that they have two base turrets down of Aurora's and the mid turret. Barely, you know, barely yeah. alive. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you a question. Ask me. Okay. Was Ryota the one who also stole a Lord yesterday against Fnatic? Uh. I think that happened. I'm really not sure. But one thing for sure is our XP laners are outstanding today. They're out of their minds. They, they're out of their minds. Yesterday was Ryota, now it's Edward rocking the Khaled as Blacklist works on the Lord. But important to note here the positioning of Renege. The wild charge again can come out of nowhere, but I think MP the King was able to spot him oh. out! And Jay going to be able to find multiple members. Blacklist. No follow through, no commitment though. Okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be an immense Lord Dance once again from these two teams. Blacklist, one of the teams that created the formula for the Lord Dance. And Aurora, one uh, has the players that also exemplify the perfection when it comes to the Lord Dancers, has mastered the Lord Dances. In terms of the mid lane matchup, Yue. Facing up against his former mentor, Haji. And right now, Edward facing against his former MV3 members, Haji and Oheb. MP the King has a chance to redeem himself once again as one of the top junglers, not just in the Philippines, but in the whole world. And Demon Kite also right now has the chance to, you know, up their chances of getting a second seed coming into the playoffs. Okay, Lord JM. Gonna, go, uh, gonna try and find a good position here as Aurora will work on their minions. There's no split push potential because Oweb just has a ruby. Okay, here's a good seal. seal. They're just trying to get the space to work around here. And this is where things get a little dicey. You know, you're 20, almost 22 minutes in. You've got a pretty exposed base at this point. And you have to play against that, you know, and if you're Aurora here. And that's why they're taking their time really trying to find any window through this. So that sign that the conceal is going to be done, and they know where Renegade is. They they can blacklist can start this Lord up and possibly secure it. They just got to watch out. Edward going to oh. go ahead and heal back up. Oh, Yue had to deal with that. Now Renegade could be in trouble. Immortality there. There's the raging answer. We're going to do a five three again. Haji gets the kill. Lord's going to go for the reset, and they jump in further as Edward goes down. And now blacklist looking to clean things up. Doming 
tries to get out. Immortality going to be popped. Just gets knocked yeah. down. Double kill for MP the King. And that might be it as Blacklist, full force, will march into the base of Aurora. Staring him down, what can Demon Kai and UA do? Trying to defend the base the best they can. But Blacklist will go in and clean things up and take it to game number three. First time these two teams have met, it was a different situation. A different lineup for Blacklist, different meta. And in seven weeks apart, Blacklist was...